He's absolutely reliable, got total integrity, and a overall very nice, good man. What do you love about the Malala? Lola is her, a strong woman. She's her own person. She's intelligent, and she's equal to Sam. I feel great. Thank you very much. Stand with him. Marie Jo, advice for Captain Foster and his beautiful new wife. Never go to sleep on an argument. Listen, listen and compromise. Listen and compromise. That's very sound. That's deep. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been doing that for long? Uh, ask my husband. <laughs> You've been compromising for her. Sure. He compromises uh, a lot. Absolutely. Yeah. That's part of the ingredient of marriage. Yeah, marriage. Yes, you have to, to compromise. As well, to be friends. Do you have any philosophy? Do you have any what? A philosophy for marriage and love? Yeah, that's what I say. Be friends. Um, and also let each other be independent as well. Have their own lives and then together. Very important. What, what do you like most about Tomalola, your new daughter? Um, I think she's she's got a fierce independence. I think she is very intelligent. Um, she reaches out to people. She's a strong woman. Strong woman. Strong woman, and I hope she will be able to have a career and marriage. What do you have to say about your new in-laws, General David Jembeon and uh, Lady Modupe Jembeon? Fantastic. They're fantastic. They have been so kind to us and so welcoming um, and so gracious. We feel very privileged. What are you learning from them? Um, learning hospitality, um, generosity and um, graciousness. Yes. On your on on last note, uh, how many children are you expecting for this lovely be I think you have some few couples of children. We have three children. So, I think the captain is talking about three, but how many are you looking for? Be the grandmother. That's their choice. That is their choice, absolutely. <laughs> we ready to welcome them. We'll be the grandmother. They need to have their marriage first, and then children, if they come, will come in time. I'm feeling good. Oh, this occasion, what does it mean to you? This is a lifetime uh, contract, conjugal contract. Ah, so help me God. Mm. Now, what advice have for the Jambion family of Nigeria? Since you came here, what do you feel about the family? What's your perception about this great family? Uh, it's my family. They've made me feel at home. Um, and so I'm incredibly grateful for how m welcome they've made me and my family feel. Dad, mom. Hello. Uh, I'm enjoying every moment. It's wonderful. Yes. Uh, what do you see about your son, your lovely son? Yes, we're very close. And to see him happy and to marry such a fine woman and come into such a fine family, what could be better? And in Nigeria. You need Nigeria? Yes. I need Omolola. Uh, Lola is uh, wonderful. Um, we get on so well together. Uh, instantly, straight away, we've um, found her to be um, a super person to be with. I just hope that uh, I can be half the man that my father is. <laughs> uh, most of the time you're always away on your uh, professional assignments. Uh, how many percentage of the time are you going to give to this love? Because you are a military officer. Are you sure that your assignments, your career is not going to take much of the marriage? Well, when you're in the army, you serve the nation, so the nation has to be top priority, but Omolola is also my top priority, so I will do my duty, but I will always do my duty to Lola as well, and love her and take care of her. 50-50? 50-50, probably 60-40, or she wouldn't accept it. <laughs> and how many lovely kids are you expecting? Uh, I'm told that we're going to get twins first. Everyone keeps telling me it's going to be twins first. <laughs> are you in a with that? Absolutely, yes. Uh, if, if that happens, it'll be our first grandchildren, and there obviously will be a wonderful thing. Yes. And uh, uh, what is your philosophy about uh, marriage, about love? Do you have a philosophy? Uh, I think Lola and I share the same philosophy, which is marriage, you are a team. You work together, you're always loyal together, and you always make sure that you're of one mind before you step out into the world. Same with you, sir. Absolutely. I've been together with um, Sam's mother for 37 years and uh, we've been through some ups and downs in life but by and large we understand each other, we love each other and we stay together uh, absolutely as, uh, as one couple and it's uh, been uh, to produce three beautiful children that we have and get on so well together. They always want to be with us 
and uh, share times on holiday very and happy. meals with us. We're very happy as a family. And I obviously hope that will be the same thing for Sam and Omalola. What do you say about your new in-laws, uh, Lady Dupe, Jim Bewan, General David Jim Bewan. Chief Madupe and General Jimmy Bewan. What, what great people, what, what massive characters. Uh, initially, I was very nervous to meet them, but they put me at ease straight away. They've made me feel very welcome and all of my family. So very, very lucky to be marrying into such a great family. Uh, since we first, the, the very first moment we met, we got on and it was just so easy to be together and enjoy their company. And uh, their hospitality is first class, second to none. And I look forward to having long conversations with uh, the general and uh, Madame Dupe. Wise people. Wise people. Yeah, with great sense of humour, real sense of fun. Coming to Nigeria to pick a lovely African woman, Omolola, with your friend, uh, Captain Samuel Foust. Uh, it's fantastic. It's been a brilliant experience. The Nigerians we've met have been uh, super hospitable, um, and uh, God willing, it will be a wonderful wedding and a, a, a beautiful marriage. Are you married? Uh, I'm not, no. Uh, You're thinking of picking an African lady? <laughs> uh, I would love to, but uh, uh, I have a uh, fiance at home, so she is uh, she is waiting for me. That's lovely. Uh, are you a military officer or a civilian? I'm a civilian, uh, but I, I went to school uh, with Sam, so I've known him since we were seven years old. Give it a very humble opportunity to give a toast of Sam. Who is Sam? Captain Sam Foster. Who is he, according to you, his friend? Um, Sam is uh, one of the, uh, the best people I know. He has integrity, he has uh, discipline, uh, he is fearless under pressure, and he is uh, uh, full, of, full of love in his heart, especially for Amalola. And uh, uh, you, uh, what do you advise them for this marriage? I know you are still a bachelor, but you have an opinion to give. What do you advise them and what is your prayer, marriage wish for them? So um, we have four gentlemen in, in the UK um, in the 1960s called the Beatles. And they said, love is all you need. Um, and that's what I say to them. L make sure they love each other. They take time for each other um, and, and cherish each other uh, in the moments they have. Um, I wish them all the best for a long and happy life together. Your full name, sir? Uh, it's Colin Thomas Griffith, and I am uh, an investment manager for a, uh, a big media company in the UK. So how do you feel today? Are you in Nigeria with your brother to pick a lovely, beautiful African lady, Omolola? How do you feel being in this atmosphere of love and uh, camaraderie? I feel really privileged, I think, um, for, for someone you know, from my background to, to experience this, this occasion is, is quite a rare and special, special opportunity, so I'm, I'm trying to embrace it and make the most of it, but celebrate Sam and Lola's um, you know, loving, loving marriage and, and the wedding festivities today. What do you find very unique about Omolola, I mean your new in-law? Um, Lola's driven. She's, um, I think she's like her mother. She's very, very um, powerful of thought. She knows what she wants, and she's gonna, you know, she's gonna get to the end of where she's trying to get. And you know, she's, I think, got a lot, got a lot of um, business ambitions which she's pursuing very successfully. And um, you know, is, is an international person who's lived all over the world, and I think that shows. And, uh, what do you say about the general David Jembewon and the lady Mudupe Jembewon, your new in-laws? What do you say about them? What do you say about them? What do you what are you learning from them? Well, I, I think um, I think they're both um, people of considerable, you know, position, but at the same time very humble. And um, you know, I, have, I haven't been made to feel at all. Um, uncomfortable or uh, you know out of position they've been very welcoming and and treated me like an equal which you know is is, is a lovely thing are you married i'm not married but my beautiful girlfriend jess is uh somewhere over there jess 
she's she's signing the paper there but she's uh she's i mean she might not want to what's your marriage wish for your brother what's your marriage wish for the both couple that's uh, uh samuel and amalola i at the, the wedding in in the summer last year Oh, it was uh, it was incredible. It was um, in our, in our hometown where we grew up. It was in a, a 15th century Tudor manor, which Henry VIII gave to his um, unfavoured wife, um, Anne of Cleves. And yeah, it was a real mixture of, of a Western wedding and and the, you know the Nigerian family that came really made it a, a mix. Which sadly today we haven't brought as much as, as you guys brought to us. But um, it's a real you know fusion of of culture and celebration. What does that tell us about intercontinental marriage? I mean, fusion of different culture, Yoruba, Okon, and British. Is there any similarity? Yeah, I think there's there's universal elements of any any wedding, whatever culture. Um, fundamentally, it's a celebration. It's is uh, based upon you know um, love, which you know is uh, something that any is a language anyone can speak, isn't it, and understand. Love and music. And music, yeah. You you guys can can do the music well and dance, and uh, you'll see us us um, white British people with no rhythm trying and failing to dance. <laughs> how do you feel? I want to know your name uh, first and foremost. Who are you, and how do you feel being in Nigeria for our last marriage to Captain Samuel Fusto? Uh, my name is Asia Holloway, and I feel great. This is my first time in Nigeria, first time in Africa, period, and it's beautiful. I'm having a very lovely time. How will you define the Jembe ones of uh, Kogi states? How would I define them? Yeah. Oh, they are a regal family. They're a delightful family. Um, I've known them for about 17 years, and they're just a very, very beautiful family. Very delightful. What, what does it tell you about intercontinental marriage, uh, fusion of culture, British culture, then Okun culture of uh, Kogi state here? Yeah. Uh, I think that this ceremony really captures both uh, how Lola is and how, how Sam is. It's uh, very, very beautiful. So how do you feel, Ma? What's your name and how do you feel being in Nigeria? Is this your first time also? I am Vanessa Jeffrard and this is not my first time. This is my third time in Nigeria. First time in Kogi State. First time in Kogi. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is our state, Kogi State. How do you feel with being in Kogi State? I feel comfortable. I feel great. It's very beautiful. The people are friendly. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, you've been in Benue, but I hope you love Kogi more than Benue. <laughs> Yes, I do. Yes, I do. This is the best. How do you define the atmosphere of Omolola and Captain Foster's uh, Nutel today in Kogi? They feel, it all feels like family. It all feels very familiar. It feels very loving and, you know, we're just honored to be here. Yeah. How do you define that marriage? A lot we see from the perspective of Intan Continental, a fusion of cultures, British, Okun culture. <laughs> I think well, I don't know. I think I think it's great that they're coming together. They're able to, you know, share similarities and differences and learn and grow with each other. A marriage wish for them. From you. A marriage wish. A marriage wish. Um, communication, long-lasting love, and and keeping the adventure going. Marriage wish for them. Compromise, compromise. I know they're both uh, tourists. They are, are very stubborn people. <laughs> so compromise is very important for them. Talking about their staff. No, they're tourists. They're both tourists. So they, yeah, yes, yes. Their birthday, Lola's birthday is April 28th, and his is May 1st. So they definitely need to. Thank you. <laughs> Picture, yeah, please. Nigeria. Lovely, lovely. Sir. This is Vanessa. <laughs> yeah, wow. this is Kogi. Wonderful. Nice to have you around. Beautiful and uh, wonderful being with us in Nigeria. Can we know your name? Who are you to the foster family? And uh, how do you feel being in this atmosphere of uh, the new pit, new chair between Lola and Captain Samuel Foster? Uh, my name is Erica Neswold, and I'm actually a school friend of Lola's. I went to secondary school with Lola in the U.S. What, what how do you define Lola? How, how do I find Lola? Yeah, I mean, being a friend. She's wonderful. I've known her since we were 15, and she was just the ama most amazing person even at that point. Always so intelligent and energetic and lights up every room. Yeah, do you think that's what uh, endeared her to Captain Summer Force? Yes, yes. I think I, I only meet, m recently met Captain Forster, and uh, it's been a pleasure to get to know his family, and I completely understand why they fell in love, because they both have that kind of vibrant energy. I think you're giving a toast to Lola. I think you can give more. What, it, what do you know much about her? What other things makes her very unique as a woman? Um, she's incredibly intelligent, but also just really perceptive. Um, she understands people, and um, she's always working to make the lives of the people that she cares about better. Hmm. 
interesting. Uh, you came from America? All the way from the U.S.? Yes, all the way just from the U.S. Her. Just for her? Just for this trip. That means the friendship is so strong. What is the bond between two of you? Yes, well, the um, friends that I made at secondary school was a very special school, and we all became very close. Um, and we uh, we were recently seeing each other, and um, she was telling me about her uh interest in Sam and Ms. Captain Forster and I also have a partner who's in a foreign military so we were comparing notes. Military? Yes. In military? Uh, so my partner's in the Australian military and uh, so we were talking about that and uh, she invited me to come here and I was so pleased. I was so happy to come here. What was the more of a school in London? In the, school in, in the US, sorry. What was name of school? The school that we went to in the US was called Seton Keogh. What do you call it? Seton Keogh. Okay. It was an all-girls Catholic secondary school. Now, what do you wish for this marriage? What is your marriage wish for Lola and husband? Um, I hope that they have a long and happy life together and that they have a lot of great adventures together like I'm having an adventure here. <laughs> I thank you so much and I think I would love to speak with you more. Maybe when you do your marriage, I'll be there. Thank you very much. Hello, sir. Oh, it's so nice to meet you today. You look so very unique. Thank you, thank you. Uh, handsome, and I think you're a member of our generation, Rastafara, you know. <laughs> you in Nigeria, how will you define this wonderful atmosphere of the nuptial of Captain Sam Fuster and Amalala Jembeon? And who are you to the family? Who know your name, sir? Uh, my name is Denzel Chen. Uh, me and Lola have been friends ever since we were children. We went to university together. Well, not children, but older, and we went to university together. I'm shocked to see more of Lola's friend here. <laughs> <laughs> a male friend too. <laughs> yeah. So um yeah, so I traveled down for her and this wonderful day for the wedding and it's been amazing. Everyone has been nice and capacious. Space has been beautiful, the land is beautiful, the people have been wonderful. You came all the way from America? Ah uh, yes, all the way from America. That's interesting. What makes Lola so unique? Because I just spoke with a female friend who also fleeing from America. So what makes her so unique and uh, extraordinary that all of you could uh, put your job on the line, put your schedule on the line, come down? <laughs> well, y Lola embodies a Yoruba woman, but also a modern woman in the States. So she just exudes a wonderful thing about her and she's just a blessing to have in your life. So everyone who has ever met her has loved her tremendously and so it wasn't even a bother to like pause our schedules or our lives to come here for her. I'm sure we would do it again if she asked. You know, we do it all over, all over again. All over again in a heartbeat if she asked. <laughs> then then the, um, what do you have for the two of them? Are you married? I am married. Okay, then. That, that means you're a good counselor, marriage counselor. You must have one or two ideas. What are those things that you think they need in this union, this new lifestyle? What are those things that would make the marriage succeed? Um, communication. Communication, understanding, and knowing when to compromise and when to hold. And that's in every marriage. That, co that compromise is always striking. <laughs> yeah. It's, and it's heavy. As is heavy and it's definitely striking. But... The love, God, family, everything will like allow you to know, you know what I mean, to be more compromising, to understand when you should. You military too? Or no, no military, civilian. <laughs> Bloody civilian. <laughs> civilian. <laughs> so, um, uh, what again do you wish them? I mean, what do you wish the two? I mean, what kind of life do you wish them? I wish them the best life. Um, not just riches, but fulfillment with friends and happiness and just an amazing life where you wake up every day and it is a blessing. You never wake up with that heavy heart or that feeling in your stomach that you want the life that you have and you get the life that you want. I'm very, very proud of you. We're very, very happy, privileged having you in Kogi State for the... Uh, for the marriage of uh, our very lovely, beautiful daughter, Molala Jembewon, and Captain Samuel Foster. First and foremost, how do you feel with this unique experience? I mean, the intercontinental marriage, a fusion of two globally recognized culture. How do you feel being here today? And what, how, what do you have for them? Well, I give God all the glory. We, about um, nine months ago, we were in um, Lewistown in England. Uh, and it is nice to see the traditional part of the wedding being um, accomplished here today. Um, like you said, it's a marriage across the ocean. So we thank God. And really, when you look at the two of them, you know that they're genuinely in love. So we thank God for that. I mean, that's one of the fundamental aspects of it, the genuineness of the love and everything. But you... Uh, a marriage, uh, let me say, marriage counselor because you've been in it for long and uh, you could give 
one or two uh, lectures about marriage. What are you going to tell them? I propose that first of all, first and foremost, you must be God fearing. Secondly, you must be each other's best friend. I have no doubt you have disagreements, but when you're each other's best friend, then you are forced to settle your disagreements before before you know what's up. And then you are back to square one. So I think you must be each other's best friend. And then the rest, you work on it. As uh, an EP uncle, what other qualities do you see in Amalola? Because we know her as a very, very educative person, very gentle, easygoing, and uh, a pragmatic person. That's from the outside view. But you as a close uh, uncle, someone's very close, what are the qualities that makes her very unique? Uh, Amalola a, has a warm personality. She wears her heart on her shoulder, so you know exactly what's going on inside her. So there's no, no hunky panky and nothing hidden. So I think those are good qualities that um, will make um, a marriage survive. Um, in other words, she tells you what she feels, so there's nothing hidden. So with prayers, the two of them will make um, a lovely couple. Can you share your word about uh, your very wonderful, lovely sister, Lady Mutipa Jembe Won, and her husband, General Jembe Won? They've been so hospitable to us since uh, two or three forties. Some people came in from all over the world. We came in yesterday. How will you describe these two couples? And uh, what do you think they mean to the society? What are you learning from them? Well, General, this uh, this this my I've, I've been to here yeah, now a few times before. So this is home actually. So um, we thank uh, General and uh, Chief Mrs. Jembe Wong for their hospitality, and um, we always feel at home when you come to here. Yeah. And apart from that, um, I have other friends who are more like brothers to me now, who are actually from here as well. So we thank God. For, mm -hmm. the last note, marriage wish for the new couple. Captain Samuel Foster and Lady Omolola Foster, Lady Jamie Ben. Wish them a very blissful marriage, blessed with children, blessed with all the material things to look after the family, and most importantly, a successful married life. It's nice to see you today. Lovely, beautiful faces at uh, Omolola Jamie Ben and Captain Samuel Foster. It's a wonderful marriage. How do you feel today? And uh, we want to know your name and how do you feel about this atmosphere of cross-cultural overseas marriage? So, my name is Roli Ajayi. I'm the wife of um, Dai Ajayi, the younger brother of Mrs. Jane Bewan. Um, it's a wonderful day today. Um, it's fantastic seeing two different cultures coming together. Um, binded by love so it's something of joy um, it's something great and we're happy to be here that's the best thing i can say what, 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 what advice do you have for them you've been in marriage with your wonderful lovely husband for years what are you going to advise omolola uh, about handling a home handling a man especially a military officer you know patience patience patience